scientists have harvested seven miniature human organs and combined them to create a human on a chip. The 26 million mini man is being unveiled today at the Organ on a Chip World Congress 2016 held in Boston, Massachusetts. Previous innovations include growing a liver, a lung and part of the gut on a similar chip. But this is first time several major organs have been combined to create a functioning human microsystem that mimics our physiology. The miniature man has no legs, or a brain to get them moving. The innovation is far from Frankenstein's monster and is all part of a grand plan to create safer, more effective medicines. The scientists who created the chip, Oxfordshire Medical Company C and Bio Innovations, are hoping it will bring about safer and more effective medicines. They claim the technology can be used to test potentially dangerous new drugs and their reaction on our organs, removing the need for human volunteers or animals in the lab. First scientists needed a board to contain and combine the organs so they can work together. Made of flexible polymer and full of microscopic channels, it can mimic our blood vessel system. Porous, flexible membranes are placed inside a channel and human cells are grown or implanted after being collected from surgical procedures. Nutrient-rich fluid like human blood that can carry away oxygen is flowed down the channel on the same side as the blood vessel cells. In the case of a mini lung, for example, blood vessels will carry and pass oxygen through the membrane lining. The whole structure can stretch and relax, exactly like a human lung as it breathes. Labs are already using single organs on its ship to test their drugs due to current restrictions for animal testing. Pharmaceutical companies don't love animal testing CN Bio CEO, Dr. Emma Seitz who is in Boston for the Congress till the mirror. Elsewhere, the U.S. Department of Defense and National Institutes of Health are employing the technology to find a countermeasure for chemical weapons. For obvious reasons, it is near impossible to test chemical and biological weapons on humans at present. But one group, based at Harvard University's West Institute in Boston, is adapting bone marrow on its ship to study the effects of radiation. It is hoped they can connect the organs just like C and Bio to create a homo chipines that they can test nuclear waste on. Another project supported by the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency is aiming to link 10 or more organs together to help defend us better against chemical attacks. It said, the resulting platform should increase the quality and potentially the number of novel therapies that move through the pipeline and into clinical care. Another project funded by the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences in the U.S. is also aiming to join four organ chips together. The three-dimensional tissues are grown in layers inside plastic chips that are about the size of a computer memory stick. Each chip contains tiny channels that mimic the structure of the organ and are lined with human cells. Nutrients are supplied by blood that flows along the channels. Researchers at Harvard University have been able to create kidneys, gut, bone marrow and lungs on a chip using the technique. Dr. Donald Ingber, a bioengineer at Harvard University's West Institute who has been leading much of the work, said the idea was to mimic the chemical and mechanical function of the organs. He said, this is the idea of replacing animal studies for drug testing with little microengineer devices that are lined with human cells and reconstitute organ level functions. By combining many of these together it could then become possible to study how organs work alongside one another to ensure that a drug that targets one organ does not harm another. He said, we could link the heart that beats to the lung that breathes. Speaking to the journal Nature, he said that his team were also adapting their bone marrow on its ship to study radiation exposure. He added, it's unethical to expose humans to the kind of radiation that you'd see in a disaster like Fukushima, but you need to be prepared. The U.S. Department of Defense has been keen to support this work as a way of verifying that its stockpiles of countermeasures against biological and chemical warfare agents do actually work. Many of them have not been tested in humans due to the ethical problems with exposing them to these deadly weapons. Microbiologist Joshua Powell, from the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Richland, Washington, told a recent meeting of the American Society for Microbiology that he has been conducing tests using anthrax on rabbit lung cells grown on a chip. According to Nature he said the U.S. Department of Homeland Security want to use similar body-on-a-chip technology to study anthrax in the human body.